All right, guys, so in this week's video, I actually made the drive up to Green Bay. Um, we fished a couple sides on uh, a couple days on the Door County side. Now we came over to the West Shore. My buddy Brett Alexander uh, told me that, hey, the fish are snapping over here pretty good too. So we decided to come over here, try for some walleyes. Um, I'm mainly just going to be start, starting off by throwing a hair jig purple. That seems to be the deal up here with a, with a stinger hook. I got that on 10 pound test fluorocarbon, uh, 10 pound test braid, seven foot medium, medium light. I like a medium light for walleyes and hair. And then I've got that paired up on the Carbon X 2000 and 3000. I got a couple reels here. I, I love the reels here. They got 10 ball bearings. They got a super smooth drag. They work flawlessly in the winter. They work really good in saltwater fishing. I use them a bunch. Uh, you hear me talking about them all the time because I feel this is the best reel on the market right now for your money. You don't believe me? Use my code EH15. Save 15%. Pick one up, pick two up. Try a, tw a, a 2,000 and a 3,000. 3,000 you can use on Lake Michigan or even a 4,000 on Lake Michigan, but I like the 2,000 and 3,000 for walleyes. But we're gonna try to put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down up here. We got half a day to fish for some big walleyes and I gotta head back home and go chase those damn stupid big brown trout again. Andy, are you ready? I'm ready. I got my right hand man, Andy. I think Andy's gonna start off throwing a rip and wrap. I'm gonna start off with a hair jig and we'll see what happens. Here we go. There we go. I'm out. Got one? Not bad. Nice fish. Not a, not a bad way to start off though. First day in Green Bay, 2024. Boy, want me to hold the camera up in front? Sure. Eric's hooked up again. Number two, guys. The good old Green Bay hair jig. I think these hair jigs started off on the Mississippi River being there. They work good in Green Bay. Oh, another nice one. Not bad, right? Not a giant, but not a bad one. Grab the net, behind you. There you go. You got it? I'm just gonna grab him. I don't need to net him. Okay. Got that little stinger in the top of his mouth. Stinger mouth. There you go. Look at that. See how that stinger's right in the top of the mouth? Green Bay walleyes on the hair jig. Good job. Nice. There you go. 
Pretty nice one. Back to back cast. All right, all right. I'm gonna step on anything. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh boy. It's the right kind. <laughs> we got a good one on, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. He hammered it too. Oh yeah. One hook and everything. Oh yeah. There we go. That's, That's a good one. That's a big fat one. That's the way you start off. What do you got there, Eric? Green Bay, baby. Look at that big fatty. Wow. Right? That's huge. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Bigger than I thought. That's 12. No, I don't think he's 12. Uh, but... He'd underestimate you on that one. That's big. That's a big girl. That is a big fish. Got me all wrapped up. Well, that's easy 12. Boy, dude, it's look through she, the gills. She's wild. I got to cut the line. All right, guys, I'm going to get, look at this big fat mama. Big fat Green Bay gold on hair jigs. Starting off our day. Don't get any better. I'm going to get the hook out of this one and get her back. up again. Not bad one. Fish are nice, dude. Yeah, they're beautiful. Nice, nice fish. Alright. <clears throat> you know, we see some guys next to us catching them on uh, ripping wraps. That, that one right there <laughs> was just on the hair jig. My buddy Brett Alexander, who's one of the best guides up here in Green Bay. He kind of turned me on to this a few years back, but a lot of fun. You come up here in March, April. The limit for keeping walleyes is one walleye uh, per person. So once you keep your one walleye, you got to stop fishing. But it's uh, been good. Been out here, I don't know, a half hour. It's not a ton of boats. Beautiful day in March. Doesn't get any better than that. The only thing that's going to get a little better is when my man Andy here gets hooked up on a 14.62 pound walleye. That's right. All right, let's go. Next. There he is. Good job. I'm just gonna leave this lane out there. I'm on this side of you. Dude, it's been fun. This is fun. Not gonna lie, I've been pounding brown trout like crazy, and it's such a nice break when you can come up to Green Bay, catch walleyes, and my favorites, big smallies in about a month. Another nice one, look. Four or five pounder. Nice. Four pounder. Beautiful average. Yeah. Look at that fish. And the stinger again. Yeah. Better get that net out of the way. Only reason I'm not netting them, guys, is because I just don't want that stinger hook to get stuck in the net right yeah, now. Right. So I'm just gonna. If you get a big one, I'll net it. I'd rather just have them come off right here. Come here, come here. Mm. Can't 
see the camera. And you know, here's the difference. When, when you have a really tough bite for walleyes, a lot of times you're gonna catch them on the stinger. Okay, that's why stinger is so important. See that? That back little stinger inside of his mouth. Now when the bite is super tough, when the fish are negative, a lot of times they'll nose down on that bait and they won't eat it and you'll rip up and you'll hook them underneath here underneath the chin so but today that stinger's getting them all in the mouth and when they're not chewing you'll see you'll hook them underneath here so when they're not chewing as much it seems like you gotta slow down just little pop 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 and today with the hair jig you know it's a it's it's one of those baits that i've learned when i come up here you really you don't want to overwork it right you throw it out we're in eight to ten feet of water you let it hit the bottom and then i'm just doing this little pop pop keeping my line taut the biggest mistake i always have to tell my customers when they're in the boat is i see them doing this i see them jig up drop the rod jig up drop the rod no what you want to do is keep your rod vertical do your little pop pop and then keep the rod remained in the up position so you can feel that bait touch the bottom because as soon as it touches the bottom or you're dragging it popping it you'll feel that little think if you drop your rod that creates a bow and slack and you're not going to feel that little think or thump so just remember that when you're popping don't drop remember popping andy that that popping all right let's get back to fishing got him yes andy's on that was great. Saw him on the side imaging. Yeah. So Andy's got the live scope in the back and he's using the li uh, the side imaging, but he can actually see some of the fish better on the sand with the with the side imaging. So it just proves my point, you know, the technology whether it's sonar, side imaging. Right you can't you can't you know, Wisconsin's actually considering. Oh, nice fish, Andy. Yeah. Nice four or five pounder. Yeah. We'll take them. On the rip and wrap. All right. Andy is on the board. I'm on the board. Nice job, buddy. Thank you, sir. I got it. Got it? Yeah, I'll, I'll get her on done. Get a quick look. Yeah. Sure, everyone. Right there. There he is. All right, nice job, buddy. Dunk. Good. Awesome thing. Ooh, missed him. There he is. Came back for it. Nice. Want me to hold the camera or leave no, it? No, just keep fishing. I got it, buddy. Thank you. I want to see you get hooked up. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, remember yesterday when we were brown trout fishing and you're catching all those browns yeah. and I'm fishing the exact same bait and you catch another one and you catch another one and I miss one and I miss another one. That's just fishing some days, you know? Yeah. Well, I'll get it. You're going to get them. Oh, nice fish. Dude, another nice one. I'm going to net this one. We've been out here 45 minutes and uh, it's been a beat down and I got to give a shout out to my man Brett you know I'm fishing a different area normally I fish out of Ocano or Peshtigo or Marinette and Brett told me to try this different area of the bay and it is producing so thanks buddy this looks like
Here you go. Is that him? Uh, Perchy? I don't know. If it's a perch, it's a giant. On a perch jig though, right? Yeah, four pound test. <laughs> yeah, giant perch in. Giant perch. Oh go. my god. Oh. Dude, they, I thought they were perch. They look like perch. And look at, look that. at that. Look at this giant perch, dude. Good job. Oh my god. You know, a lot of guys been talking about how great, how great the Green Bay perch fishing is. Now I, I saw a small school of fish that looked, they were all kind of balled up and they didn't look like walleyes. Guy's been talking about how great the perch fishing is here in Green Bay. And I wanna, I want you guys to leave me a comment because we've got forward facing sonar right now, right? That is changing the technology, how we fish, where we fish. Do you think the perch limit and panfish limit in general should just be 10 fish. I'm 100% in favor of that. If we got 10 of those perch, that's 20 fillets for me. If Andy kept his 10, that's 20 for him. That's 40 fillets. The other thing I'm in favor of is a reduction in the bag limit of walleyes. I really think a lot of our lakes are three, three walleyes, 18 inches, and I really feel like Green Bay should also be three walleyes, 18 inches or bigger. That What that does is it protects and preserves the resources for the future. So I'm all in favor of a 10 fish pan fish limit and a three fish walleye limit across the entire state. I'm in favor of certain lakes for catch and release. I'd even be in favor of certain lakes to have no electronics, no motors, no nothing. So, you know, Andy and I were talking about the live scope just 10, 15 minutes ago, and it was very interesting. We could see when we were idling out more fish on side imaging in this sand than we could with live scope because they're buried laying on the bottom. So whether you've got live scope, side imaging, the best mapping, you know, we still need to, you know, be advocates of protecting and preserving the resources. So leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are on the panfish and the walleyes. Got him. Come on up. Yeah, he did a bunch of them up there at 80. I don't know if these are walleyes. I thought these were perch on the season, but they're probably walleyes. That's way too big. Yeah, dude, that's a real nice fish. <laughs> there we go. Nice fat little mama. Nice fish. There we go. Nice job, buddy. Thank you. Awesome. Nice work. Real cool. I got him. Yes. Come on up front. Yes, Andy. Yeah, fucking yeah. big school. Andy saw a big school on side of so that's what's crazy. I did not see those fish on live scope coming through here. Yeah, I but you can them. see them on side yeah, images. Yeah, that was a big school. And people are saying, oh, we got to ban no. live scope. It's like, what? You might as well ban side imaging too. So let's, let's ban all electronics. Yeah, let's just all ban together. everything. Let's go back to horse and carriage, you know, yeah. and, and spear hunting. And uh, what else? We'll, we'll go to cane poles. I think we should start, learn how to crochet. <laughs> No more buying all there our clothes. She is. Look at that guy. Nice fish, boy. Nice fish. That was a pile of them there. Good. That's just what's crazy is like, you know, everyone thinks you, you, you're going to see every single fish and catch every fish with live scope, which is not the case. You still got to be able to catch them. But but side imaging, man, yeah. I've told people for years, it's it works really, really good, especially out here in Green Bay, you know, on these flats and stuff where you're not going to pick these fish up on, on live does. scope. Here she comes. There we go. Nice job. Nice yeah. fatty. Nice. Isn't it? Yeah. All right, show everyone that fish and I'm going to keep fishing. Here we go. Right in the snoot.
might be live. Oh no, that's a wire. That's a wire on the perch rig. I got my perch rod out because I thought I saw a school of uh, perch. But uh, those are walleyes, and I got four pound test on this, Andy. Got just a little tiny jig. Four pound test. And we got a nice wall. What do we got? Nice walleye on four pound test. There he comes. Not a giant. There he but is. Just a little tiny jig. I'll show you. I'm using a little we tiny got, jig. The guys, that. The guys that I got him. I'll just grab him. Yeah. Lopping in the boat. Show you guys. So look, you know what? Perch season is still open here for a few more days. So I've got a little, one of my favorite little things, just a little tiny tungsten jig head and a little two inch or three inch swim bait. And everything, as you know, everything needs a swim bait. Perch, walleyes, muskies, crappies, brown trout. Saw a few and I was like, man, those are big perch. Well, they're walleyes. That's cool though. Awesome. Hey! Hey, Andy's got one on. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. That's oh, great. Yeah, bites, weather's great. Bites been good. So we're catching them. It's been fun. Mosquitoes are awesome. Yeah. Mosquitoes were bad last night. Yeah, Andy's got one on. Hold on. I'm, we're shooting a video too. I might have to have you in the video. I saw him on live scope. Hannah is Hannah is FaceTiming me while Andy is of course. Andy's hooked up. What oh, we got? No. We caught him. We'll show Hannah. A nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah, Andy. There's a big side oh, of them yeah. over there. I found back at 80. Nice. Got, the, got the big hook too. Nice job. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's go, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, we're just hanging out out here. Trying to catch some walleye, shoot a video. That's about it. So. That's about it. Yeah, bite's been good. It's been fun. It's been fun. There's another one. There you go. It's a good fish here. Want me to net it? I don't it's just a good one, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, maybe grab that gold. We struggled, guys. We spent an hour just, just in shallow, just getting our butts kicked. We marked them, we caught them, and it's just like, geez, we'll just keep going down the shoreline back and forth. And all of a sudden, I bumped us out here into 13 feet of water. Started seeing fish right away, and boom, right away started catching them again. So keep moving. Use your electronics. Stick with the game plan. And the result is a lot of these Green Bay walleyes. I mean, another nice fish, dude. This is a nice fish. Oh yeah, digging. Want that? You got that net for me? Oh, that's a tank. That's a tank. That's a tank. Another tankersaurus. Let's freaking go, girl. Oh, Middle of the day on a tough bite. Make a little move. Talk about being rewarded and I keep telling you guys look at that stinger hook right in his little melon right there 
Look at that. That is why you come to Green Bay for big, fat mama walleyes like that. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm gonna get a quick pick, and then get this big mama back. Good one. fish like this. This is like so many average size fish like this guy. Oh. That's it. About a nutshell right there. That hair jig, that nice walleye, and came out here for about a half a day today. Had a nice beat down on them today. Caught some pretty nice big fish. Fished some new different areas. More importantly, I got a nice break fishing with my best friend Andy here, catching some nice walleyes. Put the beat down on them. Gotta thank you, Andy. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming out here with me. Thanks for watching this week's video, guys. Hopefully, you learned something. Like, uh, you know, we teach you shallow mid-range deep how to fish in tough conditions how to troll how to cast all that good stuff if you like our videos hit that notification button be sure to subscribe and again thanks for watching leave a comment and uh, that's a wrap for this week's video see you guys